let's touch upon tactile temps. Now, while tactile temps, using your hands to feel warmth, can give you a quick gauge, they're not always reliable. Kids can feel warm after running around, snuggling under a blanket, or just being upset. They exude a lot more body heat than us, and countless times I have heard, but they feel warm. Why don't they have a fever? Like, do you want them to have a fever? Kids are warm. Warm skin doesn't always mean fever, which is why thermometers can still be useful. But here's how I approach fevers as a pediatrician and mom. You can start with a tactile feel to gauge, maybe checking if they're fussy or cranky. Feel their forehead or their chest or their cheeks for warmth. If they feel hotter than usual, you can confirm with an age-appropriate thermometer. As for how to check, make sure to watch my YouTube videos on fever. While tactile temps can help identify a warm child, only a thermometer can confirm whether it's truly a fever above 100.4 Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. For older kids, it's okay if you don't have an exact temp because you may go by how they're acting. Are they drinking fluids? resting or engaging in quiet play, sleeping comfortably. Knowing the exact number is critical in certain situations like infants under eight weeks where any fever is an emergency. If your child has certain medical conditions, and in this case, your clinician should guide you on best practices. A child prone to febrile seizures, but watch my YouTube video on this topic for more. At the end of the day, for most children, it's not just about the number. So going tactile is fine, but to avoid over-medicating or over-worrying, Confirm with a thermometer to get an exact temperature. This can also provide information for you and us as your clinician for looking at fever curves, how they're spiking, how often they're spiking, and how many days of fever they have, which can guide our management and treatment. For more, read below.